Hey coach, what's your humble beginnings at Fit Club? Fit Club was actually super difficult to me when I started. Fit Club was based around a new clientele that we started to train because prior to training lifestyle clients, we actually used to train a lot of athletes and bodybuilders. And so when I used to train, I used to train either like an athlete where we would do like sprints or, you know, sled pushes with the sprints, just crazy stuff that's designed for athletes. Or I used to train like a bodybuilder where we would do heavy bench press and rest, lat pull downs, rest, leg press, rest. And then it evolved into doing burpees. And prior to us creating Fit Club, I actually have never done a burpee in my life. And I remember the very first time that I actually picked up a battle rope and they put on 30 seconds on the timer, I literally was dead. That was a completely new movement to me. And that's when I was like, Matt, this is the new type of training that I need to do as I get older and move away from being an athletic trainer and more into a lifestyle trainer. So my humble beginnings at Fit Club, I've never done a burpee and they were very difficult and I almost died. And the battle ropes nearly killed me for 30 seconds, just going, going, going. So everybody has a day one. That was my day one. What inspired you to be a coach? So I've always been a person that loved to create processes. And then from the processes, we teach it to clients. Clients then create progress and progress get results. Now, my first coaching experience was my brother's grade seven and eight team. And I really just wanted him to get to know other kids as he was coming into the high school because I was in grade 12 and he was in grade seven when we started. So I wanted him to be able to create a legacy that he'd be able to carry forward all the way through high school. So I started coaching the grade seven, eight team and I dedicated my life to it. I mean, these kids, we had so much fun. We taught them so much advanced things and we got crazy good results. And now fast forward to now, we put together the systems, I have the team, we have the people, we have the process, and then we're gonna get the results. So what inspired me to be a coach? There was just something that I was attracted to from day one that was just getting people to where they wanna go. Like I really love the process and progress, and then ultimately we're gonna get that result. What is your personal fitness goal? For me, I honestly wanna have it all. So what is it all? I wanna be able to play sports against guys that are half my age and also compete at a high level as my kids get older. I wanna be able to look the part. So I wanna be able to, people to look at me and know that I am fit. And then I also wanna be able to coach it, right? Like I practice what I preach. So what is my ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to stay in shape at a high level as my kids get older, I wanna be able to do all the activities that my kids do as they get older. I wanna be able to look the part and I also wanna be able to teach the part. What are you currently doing to achieve this goal? Neri and I have this discussion all the time. And the majority of our workouts, we go as hard as we want to go. Now, there's a lot of people that are pushing really, really hard. We have you know, crazy people that, are, that achieve milestones so quickly. They're fast tracking what took me decades to do and they're doing it in a matter of one to two years. But for me, this is honestly for life. Like I am fit club for life. And so what does that mean? Is that if I hit a thousand workouts, yes, that's a goal that I want to achieve. But after a thousand workouts, I'm not starting over. I just got another thousand and one workouts. The fact that I'm pushing towards 2000 workouts, the 2000 workouts isn't my next goal. My next goal is to continuously do this forever. So for me, I look at it as I'm going to walk this journey, but I'm gonna go as hard as I need to during this journey because it's about the long-term goal. This journey to me is forever. What are your sayings? My sayings, everybody knows about the 1% better. Now the backstory, if you haven't heard it yet, is Neri and I, with a couple other friends, were hiking this super steep mountain in Hawaii. Now this mountain had a trail, but it wasn't like a trail that the city made that was safe. Like literally you're bouldering rocks. Now, Neri was pregnant at the time and everybody else was just carrying their water, so they had no issues and they were in good shape. Guess who was at the end? It was me. Guess who I had on my back? Jet. Jet at the time was probably around 20 to 30 pounds and he was on my back and this mountain was so steep and slippery and it was sprinkling rain that I was actually terrified. I was actually terrified of falling and potentially hurting my kid even worse. And I remember scaling these rocks and going up these rocks and looking down and just looking at the little crevices that I was able to put my feet and my hands and I was literally crawling and I looked up this mountain and Neri was the closest person to me, but she was at least 10 minutes ahead. And she was far, and everybody else was even further. And I was getting a little bit overwhelmed. 
And all I told myself is 1%. All you can do is take one step at a time. And so whenever I say 1% better every single day, literally on your worst days, if you can even just try 1% better than you actually feel, you're gonna almost instantaneously feel that much better because you're one step closer to creating a win. So 1% better is my main saying, and that's why I instill it in everything that we do here at Fit Club because nobody's perfect, but at least we can try a little bit and get better each day. So there you have it guys, thanks for listening to me. I wanted to dive you deeper into the life of me, what my goals are. You guys can follow me on Instagram, it's RJ underscore P-A-D-U-A, or you can follow me or friend request me on Facebook, it's just RJ Padua, P-A-D-U-A. My life is an open book. I don't try to hide anything, I practice what I preach, but I also enjoy life. So if that's the type of coach that you're looking for or the lifestyle that you're trying to achieve in family, fitness, faith, and finance, then I'm your guy. My, my goal is to be an inspiration for other people to get 1% better each and every day.